Why hello there folks! I'm throwing out a video for you today uh, to highlight, you know, a, a, a bit of a different thing from just, you know, Helminth build guides and and ability uh, combinations to, to do some wonky stuff. And instead I wanted to show off a, a weapon combination, uh, which is made possible uh, based on what we can currently, right now, get from Barrow. So you should go and check him out. Um, on PC, he, this is his stock now. Uh, consoles are always uh, like just one rotation behind. So this is um, a new thing that console players will be able to buy from Barrow uh, the next time he arrives, which is in two weeks. So, the wait is over, Tenno. Barrow Key Tier has arrived. Woo! My latest safari in the and what has Barrow has this time, which is new, is he has you primed know, versions the of the Firestorm and Fulmination mods that increase the blast radius of weapons with radial attacks. Um, the, the normal versions, there are some weapons where you kind of want to use them, but with the primed versions, this plus 66% blast radius is actually quite significant. Uh, it's actually quite significant. Next time and I'll have something you'll want, I'm sure of it. Depending on how you want to look at it, right, you can actually view this as a straight DPS increase. That if you can hit more enemies with one attack, then you are actually outputting more damage per second. Uh, yeah, it makes sense if you think about it. The math, it, it checks out. You are a true so, hunter. The idea is, you know, there are a couple of weapons in the game. Not every weapon. Uh, like, this is for rifles, the primary one. And then the secondary one is for pistols, obviously. And not all weapons, like, have radial attacks in the first place. Um, there are some new stuff that I wish I could use this with, but I can't. For example, the new uh, infested arm cannon, the Bubonico. <laughs> Problem is... That counts as a shotgun, so um, you can't put rifle mods in it. But you can put rifle mods in bows. So what I've done is I've done a little thing here um, with the the Proboscis Cerno, so the new infested bow uh, with that came with the new uh, Deimos Arcana update. So when you shoot this thing, it uh, it latches onto the ground and it spawns these tendrils. And they will come in like yoink enemies. So basically what this weapon is, is it's larva for everyone. Hey, you don't have the helmet system? Just just make this weapon and you have larva. See here? It just groups everyone up. It pulls enemies together, which is fantastic. Uh, and this weapon, um, uh, it explodes after a while. So it counts as like a radial attack. So this weapon actually takes advantage of the Fulmination mod uh, quite well. <laughs> quite well. So, uh, with this thing, uh, you can group enemies together. You can just pull them into a tight circle. I have modded this thing, thing quite heavily uh, to do uh, with the radial attack uh, a combination of heat, viral, and corrosive. Which is very strong. It's a lot of damage. And then we have the Vitrica. Uh, the Vitruca, where you can uh, the you do the uh, boss fight for the final Nightwave act uh, against Nihil, and you get this weapon, and this weapon can be used to glass enemies. Whoop. So what you do is if you aim and use your melee attack in the air, whoo, you glass an enemy. See there, it gets glassed for a while, and if you do like a slam attack uh, on a glassed enemy uh, you do a lot of damage it's a special thing and if you do a heavy slam attack it's actually a shockwave you see it, it reaches quite far away so what you can do is you can glass an enemy and then slam and that's actually gonna do a, a pretty chunky amount of, of damage as you can see here uh, that's just, you know, without debuffing the enemy or anything, will take about a third of the health 
of a crafted heavy gunner uh, at level 175. What's nice also about the, this slam attack is like this th this thing stacks if you can like put a lot of them together and they hit each other with this glass explosion. So I think you see where I'm getting at with this. This combination here of the proboscis cernos, uh, specifically right now, if you go to Barrow and get the primed firestorm mod, um, you can group a bunch of enemies together. You can glass them, and you can smack them. <laughs> and, and this combination uh, is actually just very, very strong. It's it's very strong, and it kind of like doesn't matter which Warframe you use, right? You can just use the Proboscis Cernos and the Vitrica together, and you can just, you know, melt anything. You probably want to have a look at my Vitrica build for this. Uh, this is not using like the Blood Rush uh, stuff because that requires you uh, to build a bunch of combo, like Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds. Uh, I've opted instead for a, a heavy attack build with this. Uh, since you are prepping enemies with the Proboscis Cernos, you're gonna hit them with like uh, a bunch of different status effect. Probably better off with Condition Overload instead of Prime Pressure Point. Um, but we're not like building uh, a bunch of combos, so you know, uh, at least that part doesn't matter. Other than that, I have Corrupt Charge, so you know, I start at, at 2, a 2 combo. And actually glassing enemies builds combo. So if you see here, I like... Whoop. Eh. If you look at the combo counter in the bottom. Eh. So getting up to like three is it, pretty easy with this thing. And that's enough for just like the, the heavy attack to, uh, to do massive damage. Where did he fly off to? Oh, I just died. Alright. Back to the build. Sorry about that, people. So, yeah. Um, doing a combination of heat and corrosive. Uh, good for armor stripping. Good for armor stripping. Good some damage over time. Um, Prime reach is good. You want to hit a lot of people with this smack to make sure it, it... You know, you don't have to aim all that... All that well and you're still gonna, you know... Get the job done. So yeah, if you want to, if there's really tough enemies, you can also throw in a Kuva Nukor in there. Add some more status effects to enemies. If you have time, while you're in the air. So what you do then... Yeah. Is you gotta move fast. Right? First you prime them with a Kuva Nukor. Then you group them together. Then you glass them, and then you smack them. But you know, uh, I prefer to not use the Kuva Nukor for this. Uh, it, it adds, it, it, it adds a bit of clunk <laughs> to it. Like if you if you have the finesse and can squeeze that in there, maybe you can like add some mods that make you like increase holster speed or whatever. Uh, but if you just want to have like, an easy time, all you gotta do is just group them. And glass them and smack them. Yeah. Now, this build works very well for um, my Warframe build that I'm using. Uh, because I'm running Equinox that I have infused with um, Pillage from Hildren. Which lets me strip armor and deplete, you know, shields from enemies to to sort of like stay alive. And Equinox, as it is, already has like a very mobile playstyle. Um, so you're you're pretty much always up in the air anyway. So what we can do here uh, is that like let's let's unpause the AI. Yeah. So here is like you can pillage enemies as well for some nice armor stripping. You group them together. You smack them.
So yeah, that's the build, folks. Uh, do check it out. It's actually quite strong, and it's gonna help pretty much any setup in any Warframe to just clear some more difficult content. Uh, these two weapons just work so well together. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> the Proboscis Cernos can be purchased straight from the market, get the blueprint. Now, unfortunately, this is a bit of a hassle to build, because in order to build the Proboscis Cernos, you need to have uh, a Mutalist Cernos as one of the component parts. Also some Nightane Extract, but you can get that from uh, the Nightwave store, just with your Nightwave credits. Um, and then the Mutalist Cernos you also buy from the market, but in order to build that, you need to have regular Cernos. <laughs> and the regular Cernos you also buy from the market, and that one you just build. <laughs> So, first you gotta buy a Cernos and build a Cernos. Then you gotta buy the blueprint for the Mutalist Cernos, use the Cernos to build the Mutalist Cernos. Then you buy the blueprint for the Proboscis Cernos, use the Mutalist Cernos to build the Proboscis Cernos. It's clunky. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of steps involved. But the Mutalist, uh, I mean the Proboscis Cernos is really, really good. It's, it's a very good bow. Because uh, you don't even have to aim. Just aim at the ground. It's going to suck up enemies and then it's going to explode and everything dies. It's super strong. And uh, like I said, the Vitrica is a reward for doing the fifth Nightwave crime scene. Uh, completing it unlocks the boss fight against Nihil. You fight against Nihil, you get Let's the blueprint get for the Vitrica. That's how you get these two weapons. Um, and, now, and also... Also, uh, the uh, the primed firestorm, the primed firestorm. You buy that mod from Barrow right now. He's gonna be here for like another day or so before he leaves for PC players. For console players, he's gonna show up and he's gonna have the primed firestorm uh, in two weeks. Yeah, so that's it. That's all you need to know to to uh, try out this this nifty little combo for yourself. Hey. Everyone has larva now. Everyone has larva and everyone is Gara. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's fun. Try it out. It's fun. It's fun, people. It's fun.